very much hygienic bungalows as you can see in the modern uh, i would say this uh, your of the model town the civil lines area all represent some kinds of bungalow which were constructed during colonial period so according to them old delhi in the chandni chowk area is very much is, is very much congested and the area is actually not paying any attention to the kind of hygiene which should be there that is why they are very much fond of proper planning and i would say airy structures and bungalow concept the concept of a bungalow is now evolving at this point of time when herbert baker and edward lutyens both of these architects were appointed in order to construct the buildings in delhi and to construct a new capital for britishers and british india so what are their contributions british government experiencing a sense of crisis due to the rising and anti imperialistic wave in india declared delhi to be its new capital in 1911 and this declaration is called second delhi darbar if you remember then ma'am would have taught you about the second delhi darbar in which you not only announced the capital shifted to delhi but you also announced that bengal will not be partitioned the partition of bengal which gave rise to the swadeshi movement and now you are announcing that partition of bengal will not be done yes the partition of bengal that is 16th of october year 1905 was actually declared invalid in second delhi darbar of 1911 thus the british leading architects sir edward lutyens and herbert baker were invited to design the new city of new delhi and its important edifices as i already told you that britishers were not reluctant to habitat themselves in the structures built by mughals because according to britishers mughal structures were having the image of great mughals still alive in the minds of people and the second thing they wanted to target is that not only the drainage system but according to them hygienic system means the hygiene of the structures built by mughals is not fit according to them as far as old delhi is concerned that is why they appointed both of these architect and told them to generally look for highest point of delhi even highest then jama masjid and that is why the both of them chosen rise in a hills on which rashtrapati bhavan is located the architects designed a monumental urban street complex that was essentially alien to indian cities yes because we were having the concept of havelis we were having the concept of havelis in which not only you but your complete generation used to reside together this was the concept which was very much prevalent during mughals and the nobles of mughals of that age haveli this concept of haveli which is termed as not hygienic by the colonial architects was replaced by the concept of bungalow which is very much airy very much hygienic bungalows as you can see in the modern uh, i would say this uh, your of the model town the civil lines area all represent some kinds of bungalow which were constructed during colonial period so lavish colonnades open verandas tall and slender windows 
chhajjas means the wide roof overhangs and the cornices jalis means the circular stone apertures and chhatris means the free standing pavilions were used at the same time as decorative elements from typical indian architecture so just all these things were adopted by both of these architects in order to design a new delhi lutians designed rashtrapati bhavan which is called the viceroy residence or during those time now it is the residence of honorable uh, president of india it is built of sandstone and has design features like canopies and jalis from rajasthan lutians also designed many other monuments in delhi including the india gate in recognition of his contributions new delhi is also known as lutians delhi whereas herbert baker who came to india to work with lutians had also designed many buildings in new delhi such as the central secretariat building the parliament house the bungalows of mps all such things were designed by herbert baker so both of these architects and their contribution is very much important as far as colonial architecture is concerned this is the residence of our honorable president of india rashtrapati bhavan which used to be i would say the residence of the viceroy of india during those times do you understand the difference between the viceroy and governor governor general see if you are a governor or if you are a governor general all such titles used to advocate the company's rule but the moment in 1858 the moment in 1858 just after the revolt of 1857 you changed the title to viceroy what does it mean it means that and now the power is not about company the power has gone in the hands of the government of britain which was being run by the queen victoria and this is the reason why even you gave the title of which title was given to queen victoria as far as first delhi darbar is concerned yes the kesari hind so all these things are important as far as the terminologies are concerned and the ideology of these people as far as the construction of these buildings are concerned 